Hey everybody, and welcome to the second episode of my Vaulted Let's Play series. In this episode, I'm going to be going and earning a ton of money and finally affording my full 3x3 plot of land and the brand new sawmill. And if you haven't noticed already, there is a lot of ice wood here, and I have quite a bit of money compared to where I left off last episode. So basically, I was going and getting frostwood for the past like hour or so, and I, as you can see, I was like in the middle of transferring this frostwood from the sawmill to my truck, when all of a sudden my recording corrupted, hooray! And not gonna lie, losing all that footage was kind of disappointing, but also doesn't matter too much since... Uh, in the footage, basically I did the calculations, the amount of money I'm gonna need is like $250,000 just to get a 3x3 pot of land and the best sawmill, and based on how much money I'm at in like an hour of playing, it's gonna take me like 4 hours of grinding to get this. And hold up, let me just go back a step further. If you know what this Let's Play series is, basically my goal is to build a giant vault, which is my dream base in Lumber Tycoon 2, and I'm gonna be doing it entirely by myself in this private server. That means I'm not going to do any trading, not going to do any begging, nothing. I'm going to get all the money by myself. And this is the second episode of the series. So if you haven't watched the first episode yet, I highly recommend you go check it out. And the third episode will be in a month because I'm doing one video every month until December. And December is when the vaults will be completed. But yeah, so anyways, so far I've spent like an hour playing this game and I've gotten a bit of money. But like I said, I need a crap ton of money. I'm not even close. So let's just fill this up and see how much this gets us. Okay, now I have all the wood here and we're about to go sell it. And one super cool thing you can do with the wood is if you take your truck here, your Volzal Purpose Hauler, you back it into the wood drop-off right here. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Anyways, you back into the wood drop-off. You open up the tailgate. The truck will raise off the ground a little bit. Then you just hold S and all the wood will funnel out of it. Now with ice wood, not all of the wood goes out because gravity exists and ice wood loves being affected by gravity. So as you can see, all the ice wood is just like flowing down towards the front of the truck here. When it's just, it's just not strong enough to go out of the back. But anyways, from this ice wood here, we are earning a lot of money, and so far we're at 66000 We've sold probably like a third of this truck. And it looks like from the full truck now, we have about $83,000, which is a lot of money. I actually don't remember off the top of my head how much a sawmill costs. Let's go check that real quick. Okay, so the maximum sawmill here is going to set us back 86500 Oh, that's a lot of money. So I'd say we still have about another load to do to get that amount of money. And then from there, I calculate that we're going to need about $135,000 to get the 9x9 plot of land, which I think is just crazy. Why is it that expensive? I have no idea. But anyways, we're just going to go and we're going to grind more frost wood. Oh yeah, and one thing I was talking about in the earlier part of the video that got corrupted is I have this new UI here that Roblox rolled out. And I got to be honest, it's really ugly. Like, look at this. What is this? Like, why is there so much empty space here? And why is the X here? I, I don't even get it. Uh, the boulders here, they're like this because when I explode the rocks, uh, they kept falling and they landed like this, which is super convenient for me because I don't need any more TNT. Oh, here we go. My favorite wood, the frost wood. And there's actually a lot here. When I came up here last, there was like two trees, but now there are a lot. So I'm going to chop down all these trees really fast, go down. So I'll mill them all, sell them all, then we'll continue from there, alright? Sounds like a plan? Yeah, let's do it.
And there we go. About 30 minutes of work and we are at $131,000. Which, I mean, to be fair, that is quite a bit of money for such little work. But it is finally time to grab this sawmill. I've been waiting for this moment. I had to, I literally had to go through a whole corrupted recording just to get this one stupid sawmill. But here it is. I'm getting it right now. And with it, I'm also just going to start on the conveyor system with some straight conveyors because, let's be real here, I putting all that wood into the sawmill without a conveyor was really painful. I don't know why I didn't get conveyors beforehand. Anyways, now that we've got our sawmill, it's time to go and start expanding our land. We have 44,000 right now, so we should be able to expand it a few times, and then uh, it's back to Frostwood. This one. This one. Finally, let's do this one. Okay, so next piece of land is 15,000, and then it goes 18,000, so on and so forth. So that means that we should only need about 60 or 70,000 more money to finish expanding our land, which is quite awesome. But hey, you want to know one good thing about having this extra land? It's a huge plus. It, it's a plus sign, you get it? Okay, well here's our sawmill here. We got the Sawmax O2L. Let's just expand it all the way up real quick. And for now, we're just gonna place two conveyors right here. At the end of the episode, I do want to get working on like my actual sawmill system. But for now, we're just gonna place two conveyors. And that's probably good enough. As for this shabby sawmill, uh, we don't really need any more. But I guess we'll just keep it over here in case. I don't know. Anyways, it's time for me to return to the Frostwood and turn my brain off for a little bit. So, uh, I guess I'll see you on the other side. I'm so tired. Not gonna lie, this sawmill is actually like an insane improvement from the shabby sawmill. With the shabby, I could barely fit like these big pieces, but with this one, I can like I, there's so much room here, like it can go all the way in. That that's crazy. Anyways, I thought I'd just update you guys now because uh, I'm really bored as per usual frostwood grinding, and I just thought it would be nice to just talk about frostwood because. In my opinion, Frostwood kind of sucks. Why Why does it have to be the best wood in the game? Like, we have Lava Wood, we have Gold Wood. Like, those are both much more fun, to me at least, to collect than Frostwood. And they're also, it makes a lot more, uh, uh, what am I saying? It makes a lot more sense for them to be worth more too, right? Because, you know, they're thicker. Like, a Lava Wood trunk, you cannot fit that in a shabby sawmill. But you can fit this trunk in a shabby sawmill, it's just kind of annoying. But kind of annoying is a lot better than impossible, you know? So yeah, I mean, honestly, Frostwood is just, I don't know. I just find it not fun at all to collect because it's just so annoying. And so it just feels so repetitive compared to, like, Lava Wood. Like, I remember collecting Lava Wood for hours on end and, like, just having fun with it. I don't remember that at all for Frostwood. I mean, I guess the real root issue here is why is land so expensive? Like, seriously, what legit player is going to spend a million dollars on land. Do you know how hard it is to get a million legit? Like just using this stuff that I have now? This is literally, I'm like at the end of progression here in terms of the amount of wood that I can stock up on. This is it. Like I'm not getting any higher. There's no bigger sawmill, no bigger truck, no better axe I can get in my private server. It's just kind of crazy. So yeah, I'd be interested to hear your guys' thoughts about what you think of like the current meta. I mean, current meta, it's been the only meta for like five years, but you know what I mean? It'd be interesting to hear if you guys want a change or what, you know. Oh, okay guys, so yeah, I've been doing this for way too long. I am tired, but I do have around 50,000, which means that we can buy, I think, two plots of land. <laughs> I love this game. Okay, so here's the first plot. 
And here's the second plot. Okay, so the next plot's gonna cost us 21,000, and then the next plot after this is gonna cost 24,000, because they go by 3,000 every time. Which means that in total, we're gonna need 45,000. We're already at 15,000. That means all we need is 30,000 to finally get all of our plots set up. So you know what time it is. It's Icewood time. Hooray. I can't wait. I'm s I am hate this game. Okay, another like 30 minutes later and here is all of the Frostwood. Um, this better give us enough to max out the land because I am not going back. Wow, so we were literally $800 away from not having enough. That's crazy. But you know, now that we have the 45000 we can finally finish upgrading our land for the last time in this whole series. So here we got piece number one. If I can get to place, there we go. Piece number one. And here we go. The final piece of land we will be purchasing in this series is now ours. Okay guys, so the last thing I want to do in this episode is quickly get all of the blueprints because, you know, currently we just have this tiny floor here, which, you know, I love the tiny floor, but I kind of want all these other ones too. So what we're going to do is earn a little bit more money, and we are not getting Frostwood, I swear. If I have to see another Frost tree today, I'm going to... So we're just going to go around, you know, check out some local trees, like maybe we'll get some money from cherry trees. We don't need that much, I think it's only like five or 6,000 to get all the blueprints. It should be pretty light, so we're just going to do that real quick. Now, I know that I said I would work on the sawmill system in this episode, but I don't think I have time to start that right now. And I think it would be much better to just put it in the next episode. Why what, Why can't I turn around? There we go. Anyways, as I was saying, I think it would be better just to put it in the next episode where I have actually have time to like plan it out rather than cram it into this one. Okay, so we've got about one truck of cherry right here, and I actually don't know how much this is going to sell for. I probably should have just gotten ice wood, but I, I'm just really sick of ice wood. So, we're just gonna see, hopefully this will give us enough, maybe? Okay, so yeah, it's not enough to buy all the blueprints, but I think it'll be enough to quickly go over and get the fancy furnishing blueprints, because, you know, fancy furnishings does close, so we need to make sure we go and get those blueprints before it closes. And here we go. All the fancy furnishing blueprints are now ours, so we can just, mm, open all of these up, that's satisfying. So now we've got the whole furniture tab filled out here. Pretty nice. We got thin counter toe. We got counter toe P width. We have ki wide kitchen. That, yeah, wide kitchen. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But anyways, let's just go and get a little more money. I guess we'll get birch wood because I think it's worth more. And yeah, let's just get the last blueprint. Okay, so we've got about 3,000 now. Again, like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I should've just got a frost tree, but I don't want to get a frost tree, so we have 3,000. That should be enough to get some of these blueprints, and I guess let's just buy them? I don't- I don't know. Okay guys, so I just finished purchasing all the blueprints except for the wedges over here because I don't think I'm going to have enough to buy them. And I can just buy them another time. They're not going to be super important for a while, while the other stuff like the floors are definitely going to be really important. So yeah, this has definitely been a pretty weird episode, but now that we're fully maxed out in terms of actual supplies, I think we're ready to continue and actually start building the vault in the next episode, which is super exciting. And I have a lot of plans for what I want to do with the vault, but what I definitely want to do first in the next episode is get a sawmill system ready with the types of wood that I'll be using to construct the vault. I'm also going to need to figure out what systems I want in the vault, like what logical stuff, what logical circuits I need, what logical items I need, and how much that's all going to cost because I'm sure it will be a lot of money. But yeah, anyways, this has been a pretty grindy episode, so that's why it's a little shorter than normal. It's February 2, it's the shortest month. It's a leap year. It's a leap day, actually, when this is coming out. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is it for me. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode in March. Goodbye.